Hello friends, so this is uh, Som, uh, Som Prakash. Um, I am a business uh, coach um, and um, uh, you know, an investor. So today we are going to discuss about uh, SaaS, that is small self-administered scheme. If you haven't heard about it, uh, this is a, a really beautiful pension scheme, um, you know, which can be administered by company directors. If you own your own company, that means if you are an IT consultant, uh, you're a director of your own company, you can plan for your own future, um, you know, by managing your own uh, pension pot, pension portfolio. Let's talk about it. Before we delve into it, just wanted to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. So not, whatever the information I'm going to share with you, that is not a financial advice, but just these are only information to be shared so that if you want to take any action, please discuss with independent financial advisors for your financial planning. Let's get into that uh, for the the content what we will be sharing with you is what is this uh, what is it all about what is SaaS? how do you set it up and what are the advantages of it and how do you fund it how do you invest it and how do you take the money out of your SaaS? so it's a really interesting thing so let's get into the details of this SaaS. this is a quite uh, old uh, pension scheme uh, um, which is I think 40 year old um, this is design or this was initially designed or until now this is a this is a pension fund for businesses not for individual purpose not for personal business fund this is a business pension fund uh, and this is regulated by the pension regulators uh, so that means they call it TPR and this is not regulated by the financial conduct authority um, as opposed to self-invested personal pension that SIP as uh, some of you may know uh, which is for FCA regulated this is not um, you know FCA regulated and um, which gives you a lot of other advantages we'll discuss about that as well so just to be clear on the SAS so who is it for well this is for everyone who is in their own businesses that means uh, you know if you are an independent IT consultant this is for you if you own your own uh, small business this is for you um, so that means this is uh, for people who have a lot of money sitting in your bank account in your in your business bank account this is for you as well so let's just to get out uh, get into the details of it so you can uh, you know your business can plan this uh, you know SaaS fund um, in, you know if uh, you have 11 or less um, you know member as trustees so that means you can form a group together if you're um, you have family members or other people uh, you know you can join together to form a SaaS and um, also you can have uh, you know you, you can it can be built as a family trust that means uh, um, you know all of your family members can uh, join together and uh, build um, um, your own SaaS uh, whereby you know after after you your kids can be benefited out of the fund as well which is in the SaaS we'll get into the advantages of uh, SaaS but uh, you know what is the SaaS we discuss about that so as we discussed earlier this is uh, you know, small self administer that means I have more control you have more control as a director of the company so that means you don't have to um, uh, be at the mercy of uh, you know your you know um, uh, pension fund manager or fund manager uh, so you you decide where to invest and uh, you can uh, choose uh, you know the high uh, yielding assets and you can invest in there and get most out of uh, your uh, pension fund um, so that is most important thing is there is a no income tax, capital gain tax or inheritance tax. So that's really good. Um, you save a lot of money in there and um, for your primary business for tax planning, this is also really good. That means if you have a lot of funds sitting in your primary business uh, and you want to take it out um, uh, without paying paying the tax, so that means uh, not um, by in dividend route, uh, you can invest it in SaaS and um, that's, that's really good. Uh, you don't have to uh, be worried about, you know, um, the tax there and uh, this is a strategy for real wealth creation that means um, you know you can build substantial uh, wealth um, by putting a SAS together and uh, get uh, your family members as trustees and uh, you know in that way the wealth is um, remain within your uh, family SAS okay so how do you set it up well this is governed by hmrc hmrc approves it so that means uh, well it's governed by you know the pension regulators but uh, you know this is a hmrc approved uh, you know fund so that means uh, you apply for hmrc who applies for uh, for it so you can apply yourself or you can get um, you know there are so many different companies or uh, they can become your professional trustees as well they um, they help you to administer that uh, you know fund um, so there are a lot of 
people out there um, you can google it as well and find find out about them it's a company called zaffinity uh, you know as you can uh, see it here so they will set it up for free you know that's why if you want to set it up for, for free somebody will um, help uh, if you want somebody to help to set it up for yourself for free you can, they they can help you uh, but for ongoing uh, cost um, you know you will have uh, some running cost as well if you are taking the help of the professional trustees who will administer for you which i would suggest that it is good uh, that somebody is there to take care of uh, you know your sort of a legal aspect of those things so what you can do cannot do but based on that they will also charge as well so how long does it take to set it up uh, you know starting from few weeks to it may um, uh, take few months as well for the, your sas to uh, be up and running um, and uh, how do you fund this as well if you have uh, you know some fund uh, sitting in your uh, uh, another pension pot so you can transfer that pot uh, into your sas or you can have uh, you know your uh, business uh, have some fund and you can transfer that into uh, as a lump sum um, to your up to well this is up to half a million uh, pound onto your sas or you can have a monthly contribution as well you can contribute into your pension pot which is your sas okay pension pot okay now how do you um, invest um, you know that fund what you have now so you that can be invested in multiple different ways uh, you can buy so what i like about it is best investment is uh, to, as per me is uh, property but unfortunately on the sas you cannot uh, invest in residential properties um, but that is a way to invest as well we'll talk about that in the second point but you can buy commercial property you can buy land as well that means you can means we're talking about the sas fund that fund can be utilized to you know um in, invest in land and commercial property you can also buy a commercial property and uh, convert it into residential and um, and then you know the sas cannot hold the residential for you know as a uh, habitable uh, property but that can be passed on to your other business as well and uh, then the money what uh, that generates you can put it back into your sas pot um, as well and uh, most important thing which i also liked about is the uh, loan so the, your sas can i know extend um, or lend money to your own company or to third party companies as well okay and yeah, of course you know this lending money means uh, it, it has to make sure that you know there is a certain percentage of interest there that means uh, your sas fund has to make profit as well again the profit is not taxable but uh, it has to be you know in that arrangement um, again your um, professional trustee will be able to help you out on that as well uh, for you know the loan arrangement but this has could make good profit out of you know extending um, you know um, the loan to your own company or to other companies as well uh, so that is the best way to invest uh, you know your sort of a money and um, um, no which is not taxable as well income tax uh, you know is not payable on that okay then you are making a load of money and how do you take the money out well as i said this is a pension pot uh, this is a pension pot so that means the pension um, as any other pension you have access to your fund at the age of 55 okay and uh, how much you can take uh, take out well 25 percent you can take out uh, tax free uh, and then uh, like any other pension fund that means uh, the rest 75 percent is uh, taxable okay um and again i you know if you want to keep it that is no inheritance tax you need to pay on that fund um so it is uh, like a trust fund and also you can invest it in the annuity as well um like any other pension fund you can annuity annuity gives you that monthly return um as well but make sure you know you again at that point of time you have to plan your tax accordingly as well so that you know um you know you are taking most advantage out of your funding okay so with that i am done i hope i made some sense to you hope you will start to think about the sas as uh, as a vehicle for your retirement uh, you know age uh, so that uh, you know your fund is making the most your money what you have in your business bank account is making the most and which will be helping you in your retirement old age okay with that i am done until the next video start making some money and create wealth